Okay, this is our second video on TPM initialization. First, we looked at the HP Envy 17T. We verified that for Windows 11. Now we're going to look at the uh, TPM initialization for an Intel NUC. I'm really surprised about the HP Envy 17T. Uh, we're going to have some other laptops we're going to need to check and find out. We will. Now the first thing I want to do is check our report with Bellarc and what's important is to know our processor. Now this is an Intel i7-5557U. So I'll highlight that. We'll go search. Okay, this is a fifth generation. And this was about 2015, which makes sense. So this should not work, but there's no way to know until we try it. So we can run the test. Let's see what happens. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We run this now on four computers. This will be number five. And let's see what we get. Interesting. CPU compatibility is questionable because it's an i7. And this says TPM version is disabled or missing. We're good to go on the unified EFI, which is in the BIOS. And we are good to go with secure boot. And we have GPT, which is uh, the format of the drive, not MBR. But it says TPM missing or disabled. So we could go into the BIOS and check it. But according to CPU compatibility, we do not have it. Now, it's interesting, we originally built the Intel NUC for one purpose, and that was to help us run the video switch. And that Intel NUC is what we have a lot of times for notes, because it does fine for that, it does fine for controlling the video switch. It's a computer you can have in the palm of your hand. At that time, that was a good deal, the best deal for the money. There were some other Intel NUCs that some of our folks at Builder by built that were more powerful. And we looked at building an Intel NUC that had Thunderbolt in it, which would have been not only more powerful, but because it had Thunderbolt, it would have had TPM in it. So suffice to say, we can go in and check the BIOS, but it won't matter because the CPU is not an eighth generation Intel processor. It is a fifth generation. So, and to reiterate, the launch date on that was 2015. So that gives you some idea of how old it is. The point of all this is you need to run this test and find out if this is going to work or not. Now, we can go through the dog and pony show and we can do TPM initialization. But if the processor does not meet the specifications, there's no point in going any further. So, I hope you found this useful. I want to thank you guys for watching this particular video. We're going to do another one. Probably the next TPM we're going to enable this time will be on AMD. We have some other platforms we need to do, but we're trying to show you what can and cannot be done. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the process and uh, let's go into the BIOS before we finish this up. See if we can enable TPM. Can't change the processor because that's, that's hardwired. We need a new NUC. This NUC does fine for what it does, but this NUC, based on that information, is not going to be compliant for Windows 11 unless Microsoft changes that. So you can look at the Microsoft specs, but you can look at this test and uh, that tells a whole lot more information which is a really kind of a bummer because the computer is perfectly fine. It, it still does what it needed to do. The problem is the software that we use on there is going to keep track of the new version of Windows. So kicking and screaming whether we want Windows 11 or not, if we're going to keep our applications current, we have to keep the computer current. And if the computer is not compliant, the computer has to be replaced. It's just the life cycle of equipment. So there's a lot of people, I think, that are going to have obsolete computers not by not by choice. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm curious. Let's go into the Intel NUC, see what we can find out about TPM. Stay with us. Okay, one more time. This time we'll do F2 to get into the BIOS. Third time's a charm. Fantastic. F2 to get in the BIOS. And this is an Intel desktop board, NUC 5i7RYB. Shows the boot order. We're going to go to security. Now, I'd zoom in on this if I could, but I do not have that capability within the BIOS. We'll go to Security. We are looking for, right there, Intel Platform Trusted Technology. We'll click on that, and that should do it. Now we need to do is reboot. So the typical F10 save and exit. So we'll F10, save changes. Yes. Now let's go check the computer. We've rebooted Device Manager. Control Panel. Device Manager, Security Devices, Trusted Platform Module 2.0. So that's a little bit of progress. Let's run the test again and see what else we've got. You never know. And the only thing that, are, that is questionable is the CPU compatibility, 
but we have TPM and TPM 2.0 is detected. Okay, so we have TPM initialization. We've done this on the Intel NUC. We've shown you the specs on the processor. Of the two requirements that we're dealing with right now for Windows 11 compatibility, that CPU looks like it's going to be a big sticking point. So check your CPU first. If your CPU doesn't measure up, there's no point in going to TPM, but we have verified we have TPM 2.0. And this system was about 2015 when that processor was released. So here we are, 2021. I think a lot of computers are going to be made obsolete for no reason at all. Everything in that machine is good. We've got TPM, but it says the processor doesn't measure up. So we'll have to wait and see when the time comes if it can run it. But uh, this gives us time to get ready. And all I can say is, you know, everybody run the test. Microsoft has their test. I prefer this test. This test being the Why Not Win 11. We'll have the link up. It'll be part of our description. This is on GitHub. Great little program. But this video is all about TPM initialization. So hope you enjoyed this. I want to thank you for watching. Next video, we're going to do another TPM initialization. This will probably be on the Gigabyte TRX40 Designator, so you can see how this works on AMD. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This is Builder By. My name is Gil Boyd. On to the next video. Stay tuned.